now we are going to see how to make this sign up form css part we are going to see later but how to use bootstrap using bootstrap how to create this form now we are going to see that okay we have already linked bootstrap css link font awesome link and css style sheet now from here i'm just going to remove this h1 i'll save this i'll just come here now if i refresh this one i don't have any output now now inside this body before that let me just increase the size now inside this body i am just going to create one div and for this div i am just going to give the class as container okay this is the bootstrap class whenever we are using this class what it is going to do is it is not going to take the complete 100% of the width now if i just write here h1 i'll just write here hello i'll save this now if i just refresh this one you can see it is going to start from here it will not take complete 100% of the width now below this if i write h1 and if i just write here hello this h1 is not present inside this div container now if i just refresh this one you can see this hello is starting from here which means that this container class will not take complete 100% of the width i'll just remove this h1 now inside this container we are just going to create the card okay now card we are going to create because we are just going to create this kind of form so for this we need one card now here i'm just going to create one div and for this div i'm just writing here card if you just write here dot card then it is just going to give this div and also this class is equal to card okay these are called as emits now inside this cards basically we are going to have three sections first is our header then we are having body and then finally we are having footer i'll just write the comment here first i'm having card header then below this i'll be having card body then again i'm just going to have cart footer now inside this cart header you can see we are having this sign up this is the header this form this entire three fields and this button is the body and this third one already have an account this is the footer inside this section we are having three more section header body and footer okay now inside this header i'm just going to create one div and for this div we are just going to give the class name as card header okay this is the bootstrap class this is also bootstrap class this is also bootstrap class and this is also bootstrap class okay why we are using this bootstrap class because whatever default settings we are already having for this classes that will be applied now inside this i'll just write here h3 for this i'm just going to give here text center okay so that my text will come in the middle and inside this i'm just going to write here sign up i'll save this i'll come to my project now if i refresh this one you can see here i am having this sign up and this is the diff container okay this is the card so i am having this one later on when we add styling for this one we are going to make this kind of form okay we are done with this sign up that is nothing but card header now inside this card body i am just going to create another diff and for this diff i am just going to give the class as card body okay for header we are having card header for body we are having card body now inside this body we are having the entire form so before making cart body let us just create cart footer okay in the same way for cart footer we are having cart hyphen footer and inside this i'm just going to create here i'll just write here already already have an account i'll just write here question mark and here as of now i'm just going to write here sign in later on for this i'm just going to wrap inside anchor tag and whenever i click on that i will be redirected to sign in page i'll come here now if i refresh this one you can see this is my footer okay this footer is been displayed now if you just want to bring this in the middle then you can just write here text to be center text center i'll save this i'll just change the spelling here i'll save now if i refresh this one you can see my text is in the middle now inside this card body we are just going to create this form we are just going to create all these three input fields and also this button now inside this card body directly i am just going to create form action as of now i am not going to give anything action will be empty inside this totally i am having three fields i'll just write here first field then i am having second field and then finally i am having third field second field then here i'll be writing third field then below this i'm just going to write here sign up button 
now inside this first field we are just going to copy the code from bootstrap and we are just going to paste that one okay so that we can use the same thing for second field and for third field i'll just come here i'll just search for bootstrap and from here i'll just click on this first link i'll click on get started now here we are having search box i'll be writing here input group okay here we are having plenty of options i'm just going to select this first one you can see we are having this icon in place of this at we can display our icon and then we are having this input field we are having plenty of designs here whatever you want based on your project requirement you can select the code from here i'll just click on this first because i just need this first stylings okay whatever stylings i'm having for this one i need that so i'll just copy this entire thing and here inside this i'm just going to paste that one i'll just format this document Okay, now inside this first field, I'm having this div container. Okay, what I have done, I have just copied the entire code from Bootstrap, and here I have just pasted that one. Don't get confused with the code. You don't have to worry about this. Whatever you want, you can just copy from there and you can paste it here. Okay, because we have already linked Bootstrap CSS link. Now we don't want. Okay, before that, let me just show you the output. I'll come here. Now if I refresh this one, you can see inside body I'm having this icon, and here I'm having this input field. the exact input field whatever i am having here that is been displayed to me because here we have already linked this css link okay bootstrap css link now for this form instead of this at we just want to display the font icon i'll just remove this at i'll save this now if i refresh this one you can see that at symbol has gone now in place of that i'll just search here font awesome icons Now once you search for this you will be having this first link just click on this fontawesome.com and from this link we are going to get free icons we just have to copy the code and we have to paste in our code Now here I'm just going to search for I'll just search for people Okay let me just search for user Now from here I'm just going to select this first user I'll just click on this once I click on this here I'm going to have this code I'll just click on this code and this will be copied. Now inside this I'm just going to paste that one. I have just removed the at symbol. In place of that at symbol, I have just pasted this i code. I have just I have just pasted this icon code. I'll come here. Now if I refresh this one, you can see here I am having this icon. Okay, later on we are just going to give this background color, but as of now this icon is been displayed. Now below that we are having this input field type is text because whenever we are entering username the type will be text we are going to enter the name in text format so we are just giving the type as text then next we are having this form control if you don't give this class then whatever stylings we are having for this input field that will not be applied okay so to add the stylings we are just going to use this form control then next we are having this placeholder instead of writing here username i am just going to write here enter your username I'll save this. Now if I refresh this one you can see here I'm having enter your username. This area label and this attribute if you want you can keep or else you can just remove this one. Okay this is not going to affect based on your requirement you can keep or you can remove. Then I'm just going to give another attribute that is nothing but required. I'll just write here required. You can directly write like this required or you can just write required is equal to inside single quotes or double quotes you can just write here required. Okay both will work I'll just write the proper spelling both will work you can directly write this attribute or you can write like this okay why we are using this because without filling the form I cannot insert the data inside the database and also I'm just going to give another attribute I'll just write here auto complete auto complete is equal to off okay why I am giving this because whenever I write something I don't want any suggestion should be displayed So for that I am just using this auto complete is equal to off. Whenever I write something here I am having some of the suggestions. I don't need this suggestion. So for that we are just writing here auto complete is equal to off. Okay, we are done with this first input field. Now inside this input field the main attribute is name attribute. Here I am just going to write name. I'll be writing here user name. Okay, whatever value you want you can give inside this one. 
but whenever we are writing php code this attribute is very very important and this value whatever we are passing here using this value itself we are going to access the input data so this value is must if you don't write this required then also we will not have any problem if we don't write this autocomplete we will not have any issues if you don't write this placeholder then also we are not going to have any issues but this name attribute is very very important we have to write this one and this is must then again i'm just going to copy the same thing same diff container for this i'm just going to paste now here i'll just change it to password okay why i'm changing it to password because i'll just come here i'll just come here i'll refresh this now whenever i write here here i am having text now for password whenever i write you can see here i'll be having this output so for that i'm just giving here type is equal to password now instead of this one okay in the same way you just have to search for that and you just have to display the icon now here i'm just writing here i'll just remove this i'll be writing here f a s f a hyphen key i'll save now if i refresh this one here i'm going to have this key so for that i'm just using this one in the same way you can just go to font awesome icons website and from there whatever icons you want how we displayed for the user in the same way you can copy the code and you can write here and you are going to get the output then here i'll just write here enter your password then everything will be same instead of this i'm just going to write here password then label i'm just going to change it to password okay rest everything is same wherever we were having username i have just changed that to password now if i just refresh this one you can see the placeholder is been changed to enter your password now again i'm just going to copy this below this i'm just going to paste now for this also type i'm going to write password i'll just come here i'll refresh this one now again when i confirm the password i should be having the same thing i'll just change the icon now instead of this i'll be writing here fa lock i'll save now you can see that icon is been changed to lock now everything will be same now instead of enter your password i'll be writing here confirm password then name attribute also i'm just going to write confirm password and here i'll just copy this one and here i'll be pasting that one i'll save this i'll refresh this one now here i'm having this placeholder confirm password now below this we are having this button sign up button so i'm just going to create that one now below this now for button i don't need all these things i don't need this input group i don't need this input group test because i'm not going to insert any icon so i don't need this entire thing instead of that i'm just going to create one div and for this div i'll just write here form group inside this i'm just going to create input field now for this input field we are not going to give type as text we are going to give type is equal to submit because whenever we click on that button only then we have to register a user so for that we are just giving here type is equal to submit and inside this also name attribute is very important name is equal to register i'll save this i'll refresh this one now here i am having this button now for this button instead of submit i just want here sign up value so for that here i'm just going to write value inside this i'll be writing here sign up i'll save this i'll just refresh this one now here i'm having sign up okay we are done with this we are done with this section we have just created one div with the class name container inside this div we are having this card and inside this card we are having three sections header section body section and footer section inside header we have just displayed this sign up inside body we are having this form and below this body we are having footer and inside that we are having already have an account sign in okay we have just done the basic setup next we are going to see how to style this form